Welcome back everyone to Piney Place the Tabaxi where I have arrived at Von Richten's Tower and I presume I'm supposed to talk to Esmeralda Davenir here, the Vampire Hunter. Hello again Esmeralda. There you are, again. I suppose Von Richten sent you here? At least you are talked to him recently. The were-ravens have brought me only the briefest of messages, and few enough of those. If he thinks I have time to come find him, I haven't. I've barely had time to rest. Ooh, what's kept you so busy? Good fortune! After an unrelenting, tireless search, I have found records of a weapon known as the Sun Sword. If the accounts are true, it would be a beacon of hope to all of Barovia, a salvation to this arena, and anathema to Strahd. Only, the records state that it is in the Abbey of St. Markova, and we can't get in. Ooh, and why can't we get into the Abbey? They haven't received a shipment of wine in months, and so they've shut their doors. I don't know who's running the place, but I'm afraid may have not been what we hoped for. That changes nothing, of course. If the Sun Sword is in there, we must go in. All right, and I presume that you have a plan? Yes. If the Abbey won't open his door until we have sent their wine, then you'd better go to the Wizard of Wine's vineyard. Look for Davian Markinov there and find out why nothing's been sent. All right, I will get to the bottom of this. Very well. We need to go to a vineyard and find out what's been going on. And it looks like we have a few of those golems from the Amber Temple here helping to guard this place. But right now, I need to go and go to a vineyard. Ah, here's Martikov, the winery owner. This is how it ends? Run out of our home and business? Huddled in the bushes uh, while crazed druids destroy everything we've built up over the years? Every last one of our magic gems stolen? No! No! I won't have it! Stefania was right. If every last member of the Markova family falls protecting the wine Wizard of Wines, then so be it! Uh, what happened? I've come here to get some wine. Well, if it's wine you want, it'll be a long wait indeed. Our winery was just attacked, invaded by druids from Yester Hill and the Twisted Creatures. We did our best to resist, but it was hopeless. My family was able to escape. My workers were not so lucky. And Stefana... She ran back in, saying that she has some plan to deal with the poisons. Maybe you can succeed where we failed, outsider. Will you try to help Stefania? Will you try to save the Wizard of Wines? And will you be able to pronounce her name properly twice in a row? Okay, okay. I, I, I'll see about the first item. I'm not too sure about the last. Ah, here is Stefania Martikov. Ow. Hello? You immediately spot a lone figure crouched near the entrance to the loading dock. This must be Stefania Martikov, Davian's daughter. Hello? What are you doing in here? Leave while you can. It's not safe here. There are druids and their creatures all about the area. Yes, come with me. Your father sent me to get you out. I'm not going anywhere while our winery is being invaded. I can't let them just destroy something that means so much to my family and everyone. Our wines are drunk throughout the lands, you know. But this may be the last vintage that we ever ship. I saw one of the druids poisoning our main wine storage vats. It's our last remaining stock. If it's destroyed, then... Wait a moment. I just thought of something. We might be able to purify the wine with an antidote if we can get to it in time. Oh, will you do this for me? I promise I'll leave with you if you purify the wine. All right, very well. And how can we do that? Find some brown mold. Yes, it is nasty stuff, but it will neutralize the toxin. I know some grows in the caves down in the basement. 
Oh, the mold will destroy the flavor. Hmm. We do have a charm of purification. It might restore the flavor. The charm is somewhere in the family quarters upstairs. Oh, uh, sorry, but I don't know where. Get a nice hefty amount of brown mold and add it to the vats, then dip the charm of purification into it. That should purify the wine without ruining the flavor. Alright, fine. I'm sure those druids will try to stop me, but I'll Please do what I can. Find the ingredients for the antidote and purify the wine, Stefania begs. Our wine is the last drop of hope some people have. Alright, I guess it'll be better than those pies some people are eating. The way forward is blocked by giant twisting roots, the work of the druids who invaded the winery. Well, that's not going to be good. So let's try something else. I guess we go up the ladder. Yeah, this ladder. And see what happens. Who's in here? Ah! Twig lights. That's what's in here. Oh. Alright. And... Actually, it's probably not going to be polite to go and wreck everything like I usually do. I, I know you... Let's see. This is to the family quarters. Now, where I really need to go... Okay, let's go into family quarters. Now. The Martikoff family makes its home in this part of the winery. Alright, I guess that's expected. Now, let's see what we've got here. Oh, hello! Hey! Yeah, you guys. Just a couple of tweak blights, it looks like. Well, I suppose it's appropriate to put a rest shrine in a bedroom. One hopes that one has an opportunity to rest there. Right, now, I think I would like to check this area. Actually, this is where I came from, isn't it? Alright. Came from this way. We went into there. This is where I just killed that druid. Anything down this way? Hmm. Hey, anyone here? This is... Oh, that's, that's another stairway down. Alright. Oh, okay. This is the section that... Actually, it's this way. Oh, it's... Oh. Uh, a wine blight? Uh, that's that's a pretty awful thing to be. Well, how about this way? Now, we've got to have the. No, no, that's a twig blight. You guys just seen things before. Maybe the smell of the wine has got to me or something. Well, I suppose. Oh, charm of purification. Alright, that's one of the two items I need. Now I need to get some... brown mold. Ah! Here's the basement. Now, this is where I was expecting to go first. Hmm. Okay, this is the room with the vats. Alright, so I guess I should have gone into here. This has many barrels of wine. Okay. Sort of the back room more than a basement. Well, I heard a door open some... Oh, here it is. A needle blight. Alright, so we got needle bites, twig blights, and I thought someone was called a wine blight. In other words... It's blights all over the place. Now, let's... Can I actually see something? Nope. Not at all. Oh, okay. I 
guess that's just that little error. Not too sure what that will give me, but I guess I'll never find out. How about this way? Actually, no. This a druid kneels on top of one of the huge vats. Protected by mystic wards, she is completely absorbed by her task, poisoning the wine inside the vat. Well, oh, druid schemer. A, oh, it's a vine blight, not a wine blight. Well, vine, wine, pretty close to each other, right? Let's see, where is... I guess the druid won't be attackable until later. How about you? And you. And that goes to the family quarters, and we've already been there. Now, I'm still trying to figure out... Where is the main area I want? Right? So I thought that there was some way past this. Is, or is that something completely different? Oh, wait. I missed this door! Yeah, that's what it gets when it's too dark. You miss doors! This, I think, is where I intended to go way at the beginning. Oh, no. <laughs> no, it isn't. <sighs> I'm lost, aren't I? Hold on. What's this? You know, I don't remember this room. You spy a tangled heap of vines and roots. With a shudder, the strange mass begins to move toward you. Yeah. I think that's an optional that I have missed in all the previous times I've done this. Huh. What? Oh. Oh well. Learn something new every run. Ah! That's what I missed. Below the vats. There is a door. Hello. Well, I'm hoping... Oh, yes, because I see a, a way down from here. And that can get us into the basement. All right, finally. Stairs down. Ah, this is what I remember. Well, let's kill a few twig blights, vine blights, wine blights, whatever blights. How about pine blights? Oops, well, nothing that way. And what about this way? Hi! Needle blights, of course. So I, was, I was wondering, why was I thinking of pine blights? Of course, because there are needle blights. And that will make me think of pines. There you go. Now, I heard a door open. And I think this is the, an area that was closed off before. There's another area that needs to be opened up. We were going down. Who else? Nobody else. Ah, there we go. Oh, a wolf. There you go. We'll get along just like cats and dogs. Oops, no, 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 no. Don't, don't break those. The winery will need them. Let's be responsible. I know, this is DDO, who, who sort of responsible about property, I, I know, that that's a... Pfft. 
please don't store any more wine down in the caves. If any of it is exposed to the brown mold that grows here, the wine acquires the most horrid flavor. Though, I have noted a peculiar side effect. The brown mold seems to neutralize any toxins present in the wine. Now, I am going to assume that when they say it neutralizes any toxins inside of the wine, they are excluding alcohol itself because, well, I mean, if it neutralized the alcohol, I think it'll sort of <laughs> kill one of the points of wine. Oh. Alright. It looks like they've opened up the basement. A cave leads down into the dark and the damp. No, let's see. Let's first try the right side. And Yikes! Forget about that. All right. I completely forgot about that little thing. And let's see. Can I get into where are okay. hand wraps? Hand wraps. Hand wraps. There we go. Oh, if there's a hand wraps down here. I mean, if there are. Slimes and moles down here. Let's use the hand wraps rather than the metallic weapons. Alright, up on this side. But I need to find brown molds. Hold on, what's this? Is this a brown mold? Yes, it is. So that is one. Down on this side. Oops! <laughs> ah. Brown mold too. And over on this way. Just make sure. Oh, hello. Well, I still have the hand wrap, so I might as well. I think I need some foot wraps along with the hand wraps if I'm going to be doing kicks like that. But uh, that's an entirely different matter. Now, what about down this way? This just leads back down here. So I think the third one is maybe beyond that fall, but... You have to do that. There you go. Now, let's see. What have we got here? Oh, here it is. You found all the ingredients needed to purify the wine. Now to add the antidote to the large wine vats on the main floor of the winery. Yeah, let's get up there and teach that druid a lesson. Now... If I remember correctly, the druid will drop the shield the and attack. The druid prepares to attack. Why do you insist on dying, she asks. Without their little magic gems, this winery is doomed anyway. Very well. I'll slit your throat, then add your blood to my poison. Plant-like forms run forward to protect the druid. Oh. More blights rush to the defense of the poisoner. With the druid poisoner taken care of, you rush to add the antidote to the wine vats. The choking stench of the poison clears and is replaced with a sweet smell of fermenting grapes. Thanks to you, the Wizard of Wines will produce one more vintage. <sighs> well, okay, fine. Let's grab this. Ooh, ring of impulse, the four gold. 447 gold pieces. Is that ring of impulse worth anything? Not really. Oh well. Uh, let's go and bring out the good news. I have dealt with the druids and did what I could do to purify the wine, though I'm sure you're going to check it yourself afterwards. So, Stefania is safe. 
The druids are taken care of. You've done well indeed. Pity about the wine, though. Oh, it's no longer poison, but this last vintage is missing the magic spark it had when we still had the gems. I have a few bottles of the older vintages left, mind you, and maybe someday the other keepers of the feather will convince me to give you some. But those bottles are rare and precious, and I'm not convinced yet. Still... It would be rude to send you away empty-handed. You can have this instead. Doesn't compare to a vine vintage, of course, but you might find it handy. All right. A venomous three hand wraps of double strike. <laughs> You're kidding me. Well, I guess that's where all the poison went. Well, that's it for our... Clearing out the troubles here at the vineyard, but I'm sure there are more things we need to do, like finding those gems, which is what we'll try to do in the next episode of Piney Place the Tabaxi.